Thank you so much for coming today. I'm very honored. Thank you so much, Gavison Art Center, Dennis, for inviting me for this show. Um, so you might already know about my work, but my works are all in graphite, pencil, pencil, on paper. And the images I use are usually my photographs. And I use my domestic scenes such as self-portrait, a lot of my cats, I have no shame drawing my cats. <laughs> and because, I mean, like for me, what's important is I make art that really means to me and like my cats mean so much to me and I'm not ashamed. <laughs> and each work has, this one doesn't, that one doesn't, but has the uh, uh, ropes going across that is actually Japanese proverb. So each work has a Japanese proverb I assign, and it is drawn out word by word, and then I connect them into one continuous strand. And the line follows traditional Japanese writing, which is top right to left bottom, so there's one entrance on the top right, and usually one exit on the left bottom. So it's kind of like my metaphor for our physical being here, like how we are born here. We go through all complicated life, and we exit, we lose our body, and like, where do we go? Like, I'm always fascinated by that, like, why are we here? I think the most COVID one, I do not have the piece I love the most. If you go to my website, it's just mywebsite.com, you see 2020 works, um, it's called a Corona Breakfast, which is my kitchen table with two cats, breakfast and coronavirus going around. And like that work there is also about the time of coronavirus. Like, there was so much uncertainty, like nobody knew what was going to happen. And just being afraid, like, what's going to happen? And somehow, I kind of remembered how my grandparents always told me about during World War II, there would be B-29 flying, dropping bombs, you never know, like, when it's going to happen. Just always being in constant fear. I kind of thought maybe this is what they meant because I could never connect because I was born in the time of peace. I never had war experience. So yeah, here I kind of played with that. So the um, vaccines actually are serving as like the bombs coming down. And I don't know, it's just the peace. And there's a vaccine bottles and yeah, so it's there. You said before, you make about one a month is your goal. I try to. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah. So during COVID lockdown, I get to work at home. So I had more time to work on the studio because when you go to work, you have to, if you're a lady, you have to put the makeup on. You need to put your bra on. <laughs> it takes time. But if you work from home, you don't have to do that. So I had more time. Yeah, so my work got the bigger. And I, yeah, gave myself the deadline, one work a month. So I wouldn't keep working on it, working on it. You have to kind of, I mean, each work is good, but it's never completely happy, but you just move on, make more work, make more work. So I have only one wall I can use. So each work, I can only have one work in my studio, finish it, wrap it up next. So it's really interesting to see all the works in big space. And yes, I have like a gutter system for all the eraser drums. That was Mayuka Onogre talking about her latest exhibition, Nanakurobi Yaoki, Fall Seven Times, Get Up Eight, now showing at the Galveston Art Center from July 15th to October 1st, 2023. You can learn more about this exhibition and the Galveston Art Center at galvisonartcenter.org.
www.ghostbusinessfoundation.org.